I, I build everything I play through. So pedals, amps, guitars. I was up till three last night just uh, putting new pickups in this one. But yeah, this is what I spend a lot of my time doing. I, I build uh, like bass amps and uh, I also build, I build whatever I need. <laughs> you don't go shopping. Yeah. <laughs> These are tube amps. New amps these days are all solid state digital. Uh, I just happen to love this ancient, inefficient technology. That's my test bed. This amp is going to be the, the nicer version of this. But as you can tell, I'm a fan of uh, Paisley, apparently. <laughs> it looks like it's blooming, almost like clouds. When I'm covering my amps, finding fabric, covering them, making them look like couches. I think the way this amp looks uh, will make it sound different to whoever's playing through it. Aesthetics are important. I spent a lot of time building stuff that this seems like dead simple. Just chop it out and sand it and paint it and you're good, but songwriting can be kind of more elusive to me. So my computer is just full of unfinished songs that could probably be show ready in moments, but I probably won't do that. Instead, I'll just write new stuff. <laughs> or if I have lyrics that aren't just 100% like, yeah, that's great, I tend to just trash them and start over, and then, then I've just completely lost the point of the song. So. <laughs> there was a point where I, re where I started to realize that yeah, music is not is not a uh, an industry. It it it's like a it is not separate from life itself, like, humans are musical, no matter if you play an instrument or not, like, we are musical creatures. I'm sure some people aren't that into music, but still, I, I, maybe they forgot, or they weren't, weren't introduced to it. Are allowed to just open up. Uh, it's that's where the that's where the, that's where joy comes from. <laughs> just that is joy. It's when you can when you can uh, when you can just become a channel for for the energy inside you to come out or come through you, however you want to look at it. I guess. Did I used to be this way? Was it just a matter of time? You grow up thinking it would be okay And college years would put you in your prime But school is out and I'm on and, my But even, own. even being on stage, you can have moments of, of closing up. Uh, you're putting yourself under a spotlight, a magnifying glass. So it's kind of like, uh, I don't know, vaccinating yourself through uh, a little, little bit of the thing that you're trying to overcome. At the same time, uh, the stage can also make you self-conscious about why you're on stage, why you get to be on stage and what it means. That's the, that's the thing I realize is uh, people want to see somebody having fun and, and not afraid. And that is the, that is, that's the reason they're there. They, they want to see that in you and so they can feel it themselves. That's why I go to shows. So if you can provide that for people, there's no other justification for being where you are like that's that's plenty and, and I think you can do a lot more good uh, inspiring other people uh, than you think just by what you do with your hands or something it's uh, it spreads so uh, I think so much uh, can be done with people who are fun to work with compared to somebody who who nails something perfectly and is just an asshole uh, so you're showing up to a rehearsal for a gig, audition or something. Uh, just be fun. <laughs> oh man, especially if you're going on tour and you're going to be stuck in a van with people. I don't care how good they are. I don't care how good the music is either. I don't want to do it if it's not fun. <laughs> 